so Paris, congratulations on this collaboration with Tan Locks. Thank you. What makes this the perfect spray tan? I am the queen of spray tans, so. As we can see, look at exactly. these legs. Thank look you. at the color of Paris's legs. Perfection. Thank you very much. I felt that I tried every product in the market. Most of them make you streak, they look orange, I don't like it. So I'm so happy to have a partner with Tan Lux. The products are incredible. It's such a golden glow, this iconic tan. And I love that it hydrates your skin at the same time. It's building collagen. It's like having skincare while getting gorgeous and tan all at once. So the last time I saw you, we were talking about Baby Phoenix, who is now one. Yes. Phoenix turned one. But now we have a new addition to the family, your baby girl, London. Congratulations. Thank you. It seems like you have everything you ever dreamed of. Car to your husband, two babies. Is this really everything you ever dreamed of? I always make a wish at 11-11, and now I've been saying to Carter recently, I'm like, I don't even have anything to wish for anymore. But like, all my 11-11 wishes have come true. My beautiful family, my babies are my life, my world. My All my businesses are doing so incredible. I've just... I've never felt more fulfilled in life, and I just feel so grateful for everything and my amazing husband. We all swoon over the beautiful pictures you post. And you just revealed baby London just a few yes. days ago. She's so gorgeous. How is Phoenix coping with not being, you know, the only baby in the house now? He loves being a big brother. He is obsessed with her. It's so cute to see them together. They both smile at each other, laugh at each other. And they're so close in age, with London being five months, he's 15 months. So they're just gonna grow up and be best friends, and he's always gonna look after his little sis. And it's just the most heartwarming thing to watch every single day. And how is mommy coping with two babies under two? Because we know you're, that's not easy, and you're so busy with all of your businesses. Well, I'm a living mom, so I do it all. And the kids just, they're so, amazing they're so sweet they're so quiet it's like I've, I've gotten very lucky they're on their sleep schedules their eating schedules they're just the most lovely babies ever when I hang out with my friends and we're with the babies they're like what they don't cry we got flying planes never cry on the plane they just oh, are angels babies. I got so lucky you really did um Phoenix had the cutest reaction when you played your single with Sia yes. to to it right What's it like just sharing that with your baby and seeing his cutest reaction? That was amazing. I've been recording at the house. We have a studio at my house as well. So Phoenix has been in there listening to me record this album. And he loves his auntie Sia. So my new single just came out with her called Fame Won't Love You. And I've been singing it to London and Phoenix at night as a lullaby along with Stars Are Blind. So it's just exciting to... Um, have this new phase of my life being a mother it's my favorite era yet and also my pop star era pop star we love seeing paris back as a pop star yes. again <laughs> it was time were you nervous about doing that again i was but i'm just so happy that i did it's been the best year being in the studio with sia she's so incredibly talented so kind so sweet so creative inspiring everything and this album is going to blow people's minds. It's, every song is just incredible, so I couldn't be prouder. We're very excited to hear it. Now Mother's Day is right around the yes. corner. What plans do you have? I cannot wait for Mother's Day with my little baby boy and girl. And I want to plan something nice with my mom as well, and just get all of us together and go to a nice luncheon and just celebrate being moms. Two babies? Is two enough for Paris? Or does Paris want Three, four, where are we going to stop? I just am having the best time with both of them right now. It's so perfect to have the boy, the girl. So we'll see what happens. You're like, I should ask you, are there any other names out there you would like to use? Because then I feel like I know there's another baby coming. <laughs> <laughs> I was always thinking of other city names and people give me suggestions. I thought Rio was cute too. There's another one. I, I feel like there's a Rio coming. <laughs> Watch this face. Our next know. interview, we never know, but I feel like there is. Look at the smile. The smile says it all. Paris, something else you have to say? The great other rights to your memoirs just been picked up? Yes, by A24, and they are 
incredible. I love what they did with Euphoria and White Lotus and Beef and so many other incredible projects. So I'm going to be having my life story turn into a TV series, producing with Elle and Dakota Fanning. So who is going to play Paris Hilton? Surprise. Or maybe me. <laughs> I mean, you've got to be on there, right? You've got to be, obviously. But your number one pick, who would it be? Your number one pick. We've got to put it out there into the universe. I can't say. No. Because you've got them, haven't you? Because I already know she's, already, she's, she's got them. <laughs> That's awesome. She gets what she wants. I got who I wanted. You did? Yeah. Congratulations. You've been doing such amazing work, Paris, with the work you've been doing for abuse students and people in abusive situations. How proud are you of what you've accomplished? And you even just came back from Jamaica. Yes. And weren't four people arrested? Yes. Um, it's just been this past few years with my advocacy work and turning my pain into a purpose and making a difference in children's lives. It's been just the most fulfilling work of my life and I really feel that it's my purpose in life. And I'm so proud of all the impact we've made so far, changing eight state laws. I have my bill that's in Congress right now that will hopefully be passed this year. Just flew to Jamaica and rescued seven American boys who were being abused there. And these people were held accountable and all of the employees at this place were arrested. So I hope that's a message to people out there that if you are abusing children, I'm going to find out about it and I will come with my spotlight and shine it and you're going to get caught. So enough is enough and I really want that to be a message to people out there. If you are doing this, you will be caught. How proud are your family of you for raising awareness and bringing all of this to the surface? My family is so proud of me and it's just been such a healing experience in so many ways to be able to really just turn something that was so horrible to happen and to be able to make a difference in the future for other children. I can imagine it's been very healing for your mom and dad as well, for all of you as a family. Definitely. We're closer than ever and I just, I love my mom and dad so much. We all do. We yeah. all love Kathleen. They're the best. They are the best. So your podcast as well, you have a podcast, you've got so much going on, you I have know. a podcast. <laughs> what, what are we going to expect to you here on the podcast coming up? Season two of Trapped in Treatment is about to come out and it is all about elevating voices of survivors who have been through this and have been in these schools and have been abused and also other employees who have come forward to tell their stories and just really hearing about the history of what has happened in these places and people are just going to be shocked just children being locked in dog cages and just the type of abuse that's happening behind closed doors to American children who are being sent to facilities across state lines and uh, it's just it's a human rights issue it's something that's so important that needs to be talked about and I'm going to keep using my voice and my platform to elevate these stories well, we know you've got a party to go and host. You show everybody your gorgeous tan. Thank you so Thank you. much.